I want to tell you a story about mentorship. I want to tell you about the time that one of my supervisors had to sit me down and give me a little lesson. I was, uh, early in my career, I was a delivery driver. I was actually a gopher. If you don't know what a gopher is, let me tell you. A gopher is go for this and go for that. Someone that goes and gets things that are needed. So here I was, a young man. I had been the gopher. And I got transferred into another department where we had to assemble components. And we were assembling these components one day, and we needed a tool. And having been the gopher, I knew exactly where that tool was, and I knew where to go get it. So I went and got one of the company vehicles, and I jumped in the truck and ran to the store, got what we needed, came back, and I thought I was a hero. I got the crew back to working when we weren't working without the tool. Well, my immediate supervisor was looking for me while I was gone, and I hadn't been told to do what I had done. So he was a little upset with me that I had left the crew and I did something I wasn't asked to do. So I got called to the big boss's office. Yeah, that's never any fun. So I got in the big boss's office and the big boss says to me, listen, Brian, what you did was necessary, but we have to har harness your aggression. You see, we have supervisors in place so they know where their employees are at and they know what they're doing. And when you left your work area without asking, your supervisor that's responsible didn't know where you were at. And he says, I understand why you did what you did, but I need you to understand it's not right and you don't need to do that again. Well, I took it to heart, and since then, many times I've talked to people about harnessing their aggression. That was an opportunity where someone mentored me, and I've mentored others using that same example to harness your aggression. I thought you'd enjoy that story.